This tiny stunt woman is about to test a new kind of parachute that's full of holes. This design is inspired by Kirigami, the art of creating 3D morphing structures with precise cuts. Recent studies have investigated how structures like these could interact with the flow of air around them, deforming in ways that change their properties. So this team took inspiration to design a disc that transforms into a parachute as it falls through the air. So the, the basic concept of the Kirigami parachute is fairly simple. You just make a, a series of cuts in your piece of paper and then you hope that it deploys and when the object pulls on it. Oh, the egg is intact. But so it, it turns out that it's not every uh, pattern that, that actually works at making a parachute. Working out what pattern of cuts produced the perfect parachute needed a mixture of simulation and trial and error. So we tried many designs. So we looked at uh, having different sets of cuts, uh, trying to bit some chiral patterns. Maybe we could have the, the, the parachute spin as it falls. In the end, uh, the, the pattern that worked best was one where we had only circumferential cuts uh, so that it makes ki kind of little beams uh, of material that, that can deploy, uh, kind of like a spring. These cuts are key to the parachute working. Not enough holes and the disc isn't flexible enough to deploy, instead rolling into a cylinder and tumbling through the air. But the right combination of slits even offers some advantages over conventional parachutes. So our, our Kirigami parachute f functions in a bit of a, of a different way than a, a traditional parachute. Typically, uh, round parachutes with, with, with strings, uh, the, the airflow gets caught by, uh, by the, the material at the top. It's basically just a big body that creates drag. But when you have a big bluff body that's creating drag, uh, typically will create big, large eddies uh, that will tend to buffet uh, your object around. But with our Kirigami parachute, because uh, it opens up and becomes uh, kind of porous, uh, the flow ends up seeping through uh, from all sides, from all these many, many holes all around it. And so it, it kind of breaks the big eddies into many, many small jets. And what we guess is happening is that all these jets coming create a very turbulent wake, but at with very small scale turbulence. So it, instead of having a big, massive eddy that would buffet our parachute, it's just uh, create a, a flow that's very homogeneous and very stable. So our parachute falls straight down. Next, Frederick and the team want to optimize their design, improve their understanding of exactly how it works, and potentially fold in another design principle, origami. We started by comparing origami with kirigami, and then can we combine both? So could we have a parachute that is both kirigami, but also foldable? So then it, we could pack it smaller, for example, uh, or perhaps use some properties of origami to provide some more stiffness to the material. And because these parachutes are relatively simple to produce, there's a lot you could use them for. We started this work purely out of curiosity. Would it be possible to make a parachute uh, out of kirigami patterns? But then it started to, to, to grow on us that we had something that was fairly uh, robust, uh, cheap to make, and uh, w which could be made with many different materials. So we can make them out of plastic, we can make them out of paper, so we can think biodegradable material. So one potential application would be to make uh, drone delivery or even um, humanitarian airdrop uh, parachutes. So traditional parachutes are fairly expensive and labor intensive. Uh, they, they need to be folded properly and they need, they need sewing, they need different types of material. If we imagine our own parachutes, right now we make them with uh, laser cutters, but if we wanted to make our parachutes at scale for a, a given pattern, and we could make a big die and then just stamp the parachutes one after another in very large quantities. So we could imagine making them for, for very cheap. 